I'm going to show you the face mask detection accurately the code if you can see using the tk enter if you can see the interface here how well the code detect uh, the face mask uh, you can see i'm just going to run this one so how well it will detect so here is my face it's showing that no mask detect 100 percent when i wear the mask how it will predict 100 percent correctly so previous videos last time if you if you have seen a lot of video on internet uh, by using the hair cascade the hair cascade method detect the face when you have not wear anything when you wear some mask and something uh, it's very difficult for the face hair cascade method to capture your feature from your face so the your face will gonna be hide and nose will not be visible and mouth will not be visible using the hair cascade method so it, it's very difficult for hair cascade to detect the face so you can see how well it's uh, predicting uh, my face so you can also used to pass the video streaming live video streaming uh, here so let's pause i'm going to run this code again so so you can see here how so you can also pass the video i'm just going to pass one video here so how accurately it's detecting uh, the face in the video the frame rate is uh, high but it's detecting the face correctly so The code is working here so uh, before uh, detecting the face you have to train the model so here is the code for training the model so first of all first you need to do uh, to mount your drive mount your google notebook with your drive i, I hope you everyone know about uh, the gpu how to set the gpu and use the google collab so after that so make sure you are going to check that your uh, your version is matching like your version is updated like if i'm using uh, 2.8.2 .2 tensorflow sometime if you're using the down version it uh, the, the code does not seems to work uh, for you so make sure you have uh, have the same version that i'm using so after mounting that uh, things you just need to mention your path where you have the data set let's suppose in my case I have the data set here so so you have to move this thing so you can see let me show you the data set so if you can see here the data set I have two classes uh, without face if you can see the images uh, without face and the images with a face so you can see here I have a lot of data set with the images with with mask with mask and without mask the face without mask so here how the data set looks so after that if you run this code and pass the correct part and check that uh, the data set uh, uh, with your classes and then you can gonna run this cell this cell basically i have I, I'm, I'm going to I will gonna train and four model it's on you how much model you're gonna train so here you can define your models here so after that you can pick one model from here and you can see the index is three so it's picking the ResNet model from here so here I define the function where the model is defined so you uh, you can use so this function so it is basically i'm calling the pre-trained model by uh, by using keras tf.keras application with these four models or uh, using a tra uh, transfer learning uh, pre-trained model a transfer learning model so i'm transferring the knowledge of the pre-trained model to our data set the weights are basically using for image net data set so here is the shape of the model that we describe and it will automatically load that data set so after that you have to go here and pass your data set path so let's suppose in my case here i have the data set path here so you go, you, you you need to pass the data set path over here path here so you can see here i have the data set uh, from here so my data set is here so the two classes that i have de defined here so after that you need to run this code here so when you run this code let me run this one code so 
what this code gonna do so basically it's reading everything from here and appending the images and the label on that particular list that we have defined over here so it, it this code will gonna read everything and will gonna append this thing on this list the classes name and the index for the classes 0 and 1 so it will take a while I'm just gonna pause the video and we will will have to wait here you need to do you need to do so when you run this cell so after the unit you go there and run this cell this cell, cell is basically converting uh, the data set into one hot encoding label the labels into the one hot encoding and the whole data set and then try if you can see here using the data augmentation we use rotate range zoom range shrink and these method that we are augmenting the data so i'm trying to look over one sample to confirm that uh, the data set that we are trying to load it's loaded yeah so you can see here we have in the training set we have one six oh number of subject with the dimension of these three dimension so that's okay for us so after that when we we can see here after using a transfer learning method above so you can go over there so we, we says that top layer will uh, top layer is equal to false so it's mean that we are using the model up to here the model that we have defined it's on you, you which model you want to want to use so you just need to define the model here Let, let's suppose if i'm going to use this model you just need to define this one it will automatically pick that one model from here so i'm using the resnet so it's mean that if you go over here uh, so you can see that it's downloading the model it's basically calling this function and this function base model that is the function that is calling this method and we are loading that model over here and then we define our own uh, dense layer the top layers so when i run this code and the next one i'm gonna run the summary if you see here how the summary looks like so here is the model summary that i run so after that so we define our last function here optimizer that i'm using the atom optimizer and the learning rate that i define above and the epochs so after that so here you can see here history that it will train the model i'm not going to train the model here because i i, I already trained the model i'm just going to show you the code so it, it will take a while so that's why i'm just going to explain the code over here so you can see after i run this one here is my accuracy and validation accuracy the model is the model predict very well so if you see i'm going here so you can see after that i just plotted accuracy and lost plot here is how the plot looks like you can see here the results are good so when i run this one after that if you can see here so i just try to evaluate the model using classification uh, evaluation matrix such as confusion matrix and roc curve and these kind of things so you can see here the model the precision recall and confusion matrix how the looks like precision of the model and recall of the model on both classes you can see with with mask and without mask and after that the confusion matrix how the confusion matrix looks like so we have a 198 subject in our test data set and model predict 198 subject correctly and true label and the predicted label so it's mean that model predicted 198 correctly and two uh, wrong that it's predict as a without mass similarly for here model predictly 197 correctly and three they did didn't predict well wrong prediction so here you can see i'm just play, uh, drawing the sensitivity sensitivity and specificity and accuracy of the model so here is the function that i i describe here so after that if you can see here so we have the roc curve for the model and after that we're gonna save that model in our uh, drive so when we save that model so you can also run the code again run your model and you can also after running this you can also define the summary of that model and see that how our model looks like so you can visualize your model a saving model either you have correctly save or not so this is the code that basically uh, run to train the model 
and that trend model if you see here my uh, that trend model you, you you will gonna download that model from your drive so we'll save let's suppose um, i i have i have show you that the whole things that i'm i train this model here so by using uh, this uh, function i have trained trained that model over here so this is this this was the whole uh, code for uh, the model so when you when you train that model so you have to download the weights like saving model if you can see here you have to download the saving model here so after saving we will gonna look how we will gonna download this model and we're gonna run our code locally in our computer so we're gonna run our model locally in our machine so here you can see i downloaded the model from a google collab and so here is the file that we need the face detector that contain two things deploy dot prototype file and the other the model there basically this model we we i have downloaded from some internet source you can find it everywhere this is basically pre-trained model that helps to detect the previously trained on the different faces that helps to detect the face on real time and you can even you can pass images it will detect the faces so this also it's better than hair cascade hair cascade does not work when you you wear something it will not try to capture the feature so we have this and our model and the pre requirement that we need make sure you have these things installed in your local machine so after that so here is the code so i'm going to explain the code import the libraries the, the files face detector contain two files and the model that we have trained this face detector is helps to to predict the faces and this will gonna help to classify either in a weird mask or not so when i run this one so here is the main function real-time detector so that help us uh, to to detect the faces with the help of this one and the correct location of the faces and also classify these faces so you can see this is basically working over here so we are this function is helping we load that model these models and our class models and here we're drawing the boxes over the faces and then this model gonna save things into the the list the predicted result into the list in you can see here initialize our result and something like that so after that you can see here this gonna help us to write something on our box either face detected or not detected and then color on the mention of red and the green colors so here is it will gonna show with the help of open cv and something like that this is the basically explanation of the code so when i run this function so here is the last where we are defining the tk enter function so the tv the help of tk enter function we will uh, we will create our interface so this is the function that we're going to use so in my case if let's suppose you have a mp4 videos you can define mp4 in my case i am using the mac i have the m o v something like that so you can define mp4 or maybe if you don't want to define you can just simply pause it will it will pick every kind of video from your uh, machine so i'm gonna define the mp4 so when i run this for you can see it will pop up the interface to me so when i run it will show the live streaming so here you can see detect detecting my face so now i'm going to wear i'm going to wear the mask so how my face looks like it's correctly predicting the mask very well So I hope you I hope you understand the whole code and thank you so much for watching this video